Romeo and Juliet questions and answers. Notes. Question 1. The phrase, teach the torches to bum bright, suggests. A. Juliet's glow is brighter than the light of the torch. B. Her beauty is capable of enabling the torches to bum bright. C. Her beauty surpasses the brightness of a light. Answer. C. Her beauty surpasses the brightness of a light. Question 2. For Earth too dear, suggests that the lady's beauty is A. Divine. B. Rare. C. Expensive. Answer. A. Divine. Question 3. The measure has done, connotes the completion of A. Romeo's admiration of Juliet's beauty. B. The dance organized by Lord Capulet. C. The glorification of Juliet's charm. Answer. B. The dance organized by Lord Capulet. Question 4. The line, did my heart love till now? Conveys A. Romeo feels he has fallen in love. B. Romeo has been attracted before. C. Romeo feels this is true love. Answer. C. Romeo feels this is true love. Question 5. The phrase, new snow, suggests A. Love as pure as snow. B. Description of Romeo's charm. C. Juliet's discreet love for Romeo. Answer. B. Description of Romeo's charm. Question 6. What do you think the phrase, face of heaven, signifies? Answer, the phrase, face of heaven, signifies the moonlit night sky. Romeo and Juliet Comprehension 2 Question 1. What similes does Romeo use to convey Juliet's beauty? Or Romeo's appreciation of Juliet's beauty is expressed through images. Explain. Answer, Romeo uses two similes to describe Juliet's extraordinary beauty. The first simile is deployed in the lines it seems she hangs upon the cheek of night as a rich jewel in an Ethiopia's ear. In these lines, the phrases, cheek of the night, and, Ethiopia's ear, apparently refer to the darkness of the night personified as an African, Ethiopian lady. As we know, an African lady is black in complexion. Juliet stands out conspicuously amidst others in the dark night, lit up by torches in the room. There is a stark contrast between the bright and shining complexion of Juliet and the dark night. The second simile is deployed in the lines, so shows a snowy dove trooping with crows as yonder lady or her fellows shows. In these lines, the comparison is between the snowy dove and the crows. Obviously Juliet is the snowy dove and the other ladies in the room are crows. Dove is a symbol of love and beauty. Crows have always been considered black and ugly. Naturally, for Romeo, Juliet is the personification of love and beauty. It also implies that the other ladies including Rosalind, with whom he had fallen in love, appear ugly and gross to him. That is why he uses the phrase, her fellows, to describe them. These two similes highlight how enchanted Romeo is with her beauty. Question 2. How, according to Juliet, would Romeo be immortalized to the world? Or how does Juliet intend to make Romeo immortal? Or how does Juliet express her feelings about Romeo? Answer, in her invocation speech to, Night 1 Juliet invokes Night and along with, Night, her Romeo also. To her, Romeo is the, day in the night. It also implies that Romeo is her life and so when the night falls, she imagines that he will come gliding upon the wings of night. In these lines, night is personified as a raven and Romeo is likened to, new snow, on a raven's back Juliet favors the arrival of the night because it is in the night that Romeo has promised to come. That is why Juliet praises night calling it, gentle night, and, loving black-browed night. Love belongs to Juliet now that she is married, but she does not own it, and she can't own love until Romeo possesses her. Once she gets her Romeo she does not fear death. Like all mortals, if she dies, Juliet begs fate to set him in heaven with the stars. His presence will make the face of heaven so beautiful that the world will fall in love with night, and the sun will no longer be worshipped. It also implies that their love will end in their tragic death because of the enmity that exists between the two families. Consequently, the world will come to know about the tragic death of the two lovers and thus Romeo will be immortalized. Romeo and Juliet Comprehension 3. Question 1. Comment on the contrasting imagery in the poem. What purpose does it serve in highlighting the intensity of love? Or how did Romeo and Juliet express their romantic love feelings to each other? 
who are both Romeo and Juliet employ contrasting images in their expression of appreciation and admiration for each other. Elaborate answer the two stanzas in the poem one by Romeo and the other by Juliet highlight the intensity of love of the young lovers. This intensity of love is brought out by using the contrasting imagery of night and day, black and white, bright jewel and a dark surface, snowy dove, etc. Factually speaking, the words bright and night appear in Romeo's praise of Juliet's brightness when he sees her for the first time in the feast hosted by Lord Capulet. Romeo uses the phrase snowy dove to refer to and to distinguish Juliet from other ladies in the room. Romeo uses the word crows to refer to the other ladies in the room. Furthermore, Romeo compares Juliet's brightness with a rich jewel hanging upon the cheek of an Ethiopia's ear. Romeo uses these words to highlight her beauty. It also symbolizes the emotional intensity that he shows towards Juliet. Similarly, Juliet uses the phrase day in the night and whiter than new snow on a raven's back to refer to Romeo. Secondly, she uses the words stars in the night sky to refer to Romeo. Literally speaking, both the meetings between Romeo and Juliet take place at night. Secondly, their meeting has to be a closely guarded secret because of the hostility and the enmity that exists between the two rival families the Montagues and the Capulets. When Romeo goes to the Capulet asterisk s party, he goes wearing a mask at night. Similarly, he promises to meet Juliet in her chamber on the wedding night, so as not to be seen by anyone. That is why the word, night, symbolically stands for, secrecy, and caution, that needs to be exercised in their love affair. Thus the playwright has used the word, black, and, night, to strengthen the emotional situation. Thematically speaking, the words, day and night, black and white, night, and, raven, are used to evoke the image of, death, whereas, white dove, is a symbol of purity, peace and love. A raven or a black crow is considered a bird of ill omen. Furthermore, when I shall die, and cut him out in little stars, and heaven, are expressions that clearly refer to death and immortality. Thus, the playwright is hinting that the secret love affair between the two rivals will culminate in the tragic death of Romeo and Juliet. It can also be inferred that probably Juliet has a premonition of their impending death because of the fatal attraction between them and the enmity that exists between the two families. Thus, the contrasting imagery serves to highlight the intensity of their love. Question 2. Between Romeo and Juliet, whose love, do you think, is more passionate and intense? Answer. It is clear from their expressions that, of the two lovers, Juliet's love is more passionate and intense. It is well known that when Romeo goes to the Capulet's party, it is with the intention of seeing Rosalind and not Juliet. When he sees Juliet for the first time his exclamations are of one who is overwhelmed by the sight of someone who is mesmerizingly, bewitchingly, beautiful and are not the yearnings of someone deeply in love. On the other hand, when Juliet gets to know Romeo after he had touched her hand and kissed her, Juliet comes to understand what it means to be in love and from then onwards starts feeling the pangs of love. Finally, she expresses her love firmly, asking Romeo to marry her. Her love for Romeo goes on increasing in intensity and finally in her invocation tonight we find someone yearning to be possessed in love by her husband. She has a premonition of their tragic death which finds expression in her request to night to set up Romeo amidst the stars in heaven after death so that their love gets immortalized. It is also true that, of the two, Though Juliet is younger than Romeo, she is more mature and passionate in deciding to get married to Romeo. She accepts Romeo as her partner despite being fully aware of the enmity that exists between the two families. On the contrary, Romeo, though older than Juliet, is infatuated with Rosalind and is disappointed that she does not reciprocate his love. Only when he meets Juliet who reciprocates his love does he understand what it is to be really in love. Therefore, it can be concluded that it is Juliet who is more passionate and intense in love than Romeo.